What is going on, guys? It's your boy Slick, and today we are here again to talk about the Chieftain. But before I get to the Chieftain, we're going to talk about a little bit of a, or some changes coming to the channel. So I'm going to start doing one video a day. I'm, I'm going to cut back. Uh, the two videos a day is tough to do. I know that you guys like content, and I love producing content for you, and it's been a good idea for a while. But... To be perfectly honest, the the reason why I started doing two videos a day was to get my views up. You know, I views mean money. You know, and I didn't. I don't mean I did it out of a, but I wanted to continue to make money. You know what I mean? And I wanted to try to get search results, and I wanted to try to get the channel growing. But I've seen it started starting to slow down and I think that's because of the content um, the quality has gotten better my commentary skills I believe have gotten better and stuff I feel more comfortable talking in front of a mic and you know making content for you guys but I think it's time to focus on making quality videos now uh, I've gained a lot of skills I've made a lot of videos the search results are out there I have a lot of subs now it's time that we move to the next step, and that is being able to take my full day into one video, not try to pump two out at once. <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of these videos have been half-assed, and you know that I've been going back and forth in my brain about it for a while, thinking if I wanted to make one or two videos a day, the the one video a day is going to hurt me view-wise, but I think it will benefit me greatly in the long run. I think new people who are coming to the channel will see the best representation of what I'm able to do every single day, along with the ability for me to stream a lot more, which is something that I'm starting to get really into is I love streaming. So that's how that works. The second thing that's gonna be coming is streams are no longer gonna be shown up in a video form on this channel. I'm not gonna make an announcement video when I'm streaming. So I urge all of you guys who really like my streams to come follow me over on Twitch. I have my schedule right now is Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. EST. So uh, that's 10 a.m., 10 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, New York Time, East Coast, whatever you want to, however you want to put that out there. And uh, I'll be streaming War Thunder and then switching to other games. And I'll be streaming during the week at some points. And that schedule is going to change and I'll let you know when I have a solid schedule on that. Okay, now that that whole house cleaning stuff is out of the way, oh, big step, dude. It's a little scary, I'm not going to lie. It's a big step. But I think it's the best option. Let me know what you guys think also in the description down below. Now, now we're on to the Chieftain. Why am I making a Chieftain video for today? Well, I had this monster game last night playing with Danger. This is not how you should play a tank. This is very stupid, actually, uh, what I did here. But it worked. The flanking worked for some odd reason. Now, the Chieftain is arguably one of the best tanks in the game now in my eyes and what i feel after playing every single top tier tank in the game i think the chieftain is the easiest safest top tier tank to play now what i mean by that is safest is it's the easiest to maintain your lines with it's the easiest to not get yourself into trouble with it's the easiest just to play overall. It has everything going for it and very little downfall. You could say it's very slow, but other than the fact that it's slow, which is actually a benefit uh, I've thought of, nothing else really comes to mind. How could being slow be a benefit slick? Well, what I've noticed is there's a huge issue. How did I roll up on that guy and not see him? You know what I mean? Uh, there's a huge issue with allied teams especially the German top tier teams running into death with without the the speed of the leopard you can't run into death which is funny and I know it seems weird but the leopard in my opinion is the best MBT in the game but I think it's only the best MBT in the game if you know what you're doing it's very very easy to get lost in your speed and get lost with your gun and just get yourself killed over and over again with the leopard you can't do that in the Chieftain. It won't allow you to. <laughs> it's not fast enough to do what the Leopard does. And then, as a benefit, it has a fast reload with a gun that doesn't waste money. You don't have to fire he uh, Heat FS out of this gun. You get the two best rounds straight out of the box, so you learn what those rounds do very early on. And then on top of that, in the main tree, you get tanks that shoot the same hash and the same APDS, arguably not the 120, but you've been shooting APDS since your Comet. 
if you've grinded this tank all the way up. You understand how it works. And I think that's what makes the Chieftain such a badass tank. Not only does it look great, but the line, tr uh, the, you know, training new players coming up to the Chieftain is so easy. It just shows you how, it gives you every ability to play this tank. It shows you how to maintain a slow tank. It shows you how to maintain a tank that cannot maneuver really well. It shows you how to use Hesh. It shows you how to use APDS. And then when you get the Chieftain with its buffed reload, nice turret, stabilizer, you're there. It's just an upgrade to the Centurion that you've been playing at 7.0. It's such a nice grind. When you gum up to the Leopard, the best thing you have to grind is the RE251 if you've bought it. And if you don't have the RE251, you have to play, what, the Panther 2? Yeah, they're kind of similar, but the Panther 2 is on a way lower level than the Leopard. It's a huge system shock. It's like jumping into freezing cold water. Yeah, you've jumped into water before, but this is cold. <laughs> With the Chieftain, it's like... You know when water is like kind of piss warm and you kind of just step into it and it's kind of like, huh, this isn't really refreshing anyway. That's what it is. You kind of just step into it and you're there. Uh, and it's just fantastic. So that's why I would say that this is the easiest tank to play a top tier in terms of just when you've grinded it out. It just does everything it needs to do and it doesn't do anything bad. It's such a fantastic tank. It's got the gun depression. It's got the gun. This gun is phenomenal. The heat... Uh, not the heat, the hash on this gun is so good. So, so good. The The fact that it has a low profile, it has a like a very nice bushed tank. So you can put a lot of bushes on the front of this tank um, and, you know, still be able to hide. So it keeps the low profile and stuff. It's just a nice tank in, in general. And I think that's really why I like it. And I'm starting to like it a lot more than a lot of other tanks in the game. Now, I'm not going to say that my Leopard isn't my baby still. But the way the games have been going and teams have been playing, you can't win as Germany anymore. You, you need something else. You can't do it because German teams are atrocious at top tier. Um, and on top of that, to just get as many kills as I can, I, I, I just take an RU251 out, cap, and then spawn in a Sabre. The, the meta of the Leopard is gone, but the Chieftain is still well and alive, especially with a lot of people playing Russia right now. It's such a hard counter for Russia. Anywhere you shoot them on a flat armored surface, they're dead. They are dead. This Hesh does not mess around. It does not fumble about. So uh, that's basically it. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Hopefully I cut that out. Oh, my throat. <laughs> But that's basically what I what I think of the Chieftain. It's just such a good tank. I, I really have been enjoying it quite a lot. I, I just love it. And last night, I had very few games that I was like, wow, this, this thing can't perform. I had a lot of games where I was impressed by the tank. And then on top of that, the lineup is just fantastic. You get a Venom that carries two 250s or two 500s and four RP3s on each side. So four salvos of RP3s. You can, you can bring a Spitfire Mark 24 or a Wyvern. You have the Falcon, which is a good top tier SPAA. The Swingfire, while I make a lot of jokes about it, it's a really good backup ATGM for hiding and camping and sniping, which is nice. On maps like Sinai, the, the Swingfire is king. It can shoot over a lot of obstacles because of its periscope. And then you have um, backups like the Centurion Mark 10. Now there's another Chieftain in game, the Mark V. I don't have which yet, but it's a little bit upgraded in terms of mobility. And even the Vickers MBT, the Hesh launching machine gun at 7.0. All of these vehicles make for a fantastic top tier lineup. And the Brits are very, very strong right now. So if you guys haven't loaded up your Chieftain in a while, I suggest you load it up. If you're curious as to... Uh, what to do to stop these things lower plate left or right hand side of the driver will usually knock one out if you can't hit the lower plate the left hand side of the turret is a lot easier to pen but the right hand side has the gunner i believe on it i could be completely wrong about that but either or it's they're one of the sides of the turret is weaker you should just check it out in our reviewer oh it's like that's lazy i'm, I'm terribly sorry my man <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. I just really wanted to make a video about the Chieftain, and I love it. 
nine kills, I believe, this match with it, and nine and zero or nine and one right off the bat. I've been playing a lot more of it, and uh, just been stomping shit out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below what you think of your chieftain. What do you think of your Vickers MBT? How much do you like your top tier British tanks? I would say from six point seven to eight point zero, Brit has been Britain's been killing it, absolutely killing it. And uh, do you agree with what I said about the top tier meta for Russia? Not Russia, Germany. Let me know. Let's have a discussion in the comments down below. I'd like to talk about it. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Better pill keep throwing you back. Nothing but empty sugar, no high, just crash. Tongue got me numb. I lose the words to tell myself how much you hurt. But better pill keep